My head's cut off. Hello. And there we go. How's that light? There's one. Well, that's pretty good. It's better than the other light. That New light, y'all. <laughs> it's a selfie light. That was my Christmas present to myself. Oops. Ooh. What's happening? <laughs> what? Is my collar. I was just knocking my collar down. Oh. <laughs> it's all bunched up yeah, in the back. I have a blankie. I'm ready for bed. <laughs> of course. I don't it's bedtime. sleep at night. Hey, Hi. Mom. Hello. Hey, Hello. weird. What? Did What's she weird? change something? Because she doesn't have a she doesn't have a wrench by her anymore. Did you fire her? I didn't. Hey oh, hello. It's Heather. Hey, that's Heather. Heather, Hi, Heather. is in the snow. Oh yeah. Don't miss that. I was showing Brian your, your video this morning and it, but it was so pretty. It looks nice, but the pine trees. I don't want to be in it. <laughs> I like the sound it I've makes been in when it. you walk in the snow. I hear noises. It's a little windy. I hear noises too. Uh oh. Uh <laughs> I hope you feel better, Shirley. Do we uh, look younger with this life? <laughs> <laughs> Do we look super young? We got to start Hollywood light. A Hollywood light, yeah. I'm very tired. What's going on? What's new? We took last week off. I it's uh, I know. it's six oh one. It was uh, <laughs> you fired me. You I fired you, me. I didn't. You must have done something. You took yourself. I think off. you're a you're a different person now or something. You can you can know. reeve fixer. I could fixer. Add could. a wrench to her. Throw uh, a wrench at her. Connection is slightly poor tonight. More snow coming. Ugh. Oh Ugh. man. More snow. Oregon? Is it Oregon? Washington. Or Washington. Oh, okay. Washington. Oof. <laughs> I believe it's Washington. I, you must have some really good insulation in your RV because ours is like thirty or forty degrees when we get we up stay, in the morning. We stay ten to. Whoo, sorry, I'm gonna be yawning. We a stay. Lot. We stay ten to fifteen degrees above the outside temperature. So yeah, if it was like zero, we would we would be frozen in here. Yeah. Oh, mom has snow due tomorrow. Yeah, I heard them talking about a, a storm on the East Coast over the last few days, but I never know. You guys are a little oh, in yeah. from the you coast, so I never know what you're going to get. Oh, yeah. Haircut. Finally. I couldn't stand it anymore. I was laughing every time I looked oh, at it. Oh, my him. gosh. It was so bad. So bad. <laughs> I hate it so he much. He wasn't combing it at all, so it was just like <laughs> sticking up everywhere. There's no it combing bad. it. When I wake up, it's done. <laughs> Well, whose fault is that? It's Yours what you for do not cutting it. When he does this and <laughs> he rocks himself all over the place. He, he's crazy. Got oh, in your eyes. eyes? Oh, my hair. Oh. Anyway. Oh, so and it was freezing cold and windy. So what's I going cut on? his hair inside. Yeah, it's been cold. Yeah, we did the, which I don't did normally the haircut do. inside, which is rare. Uh, and we it finished was, it. It was long. We like, finished it outside. There actually. was a ton of hair. Oh, yeah. It was messy. And um, I should have shut the blinds because now I I think the heels, I the heels, the, the told heels you to shut the have blinds. eyes. The heels have eyes. That's what I think of when I look out and I see it's dark. So what's what's been going on? Uh, well, we well, we cleaned out. You moved the bales into the the house. Yeah, so we got our uh, we got our we carport on back roof. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I can't remember. It was two weeks ago, so I can't remember exactly where we were at the time. And again, my videos run a little behind, um, so I haven't shown the sheathing on a video think, yet. But I think that the sheathing had been done, but maybe. we had not put out a video. Yet. Had I finished the paper? No. The, the so no. there's uh there's underlayment on top of the sheathing, so the roof is protected. Mm -hmm somewhat mm. right now um i did mm, that might have been oh i think it was just last wednesday so it was a week ago which we did not do a live so last wednesday i ordered the metal for the roof 
So uh, I expect them to call me in the next day or two. Are Actually, if they call? don't call me tomorrow, I'll probably call them. Um, just set up a delivery for the metal. They said it would only be about a week. So they said they'd call me this week. So if I don't get a call tomorrow, I might call them. But uh, we should have the metal soon. Probably won't actually be able to install it until like next week. But um, I hope the weather holds. We've had a really nice. We've had really nice weather this week. Uh, it's been it was started well. It was sunny but cool uh, at the beginning of the week, and it's getting warmer and warmer. I think it's supposed to be like seventy two on Friday. Or yeah, something. I think so I got a little bit of uh, nice. my cheeks got a little burnt outside today because yeah. I went walking and I was I had this little spyglass thing. <laughs> Um, oh, it's Malin and dad gave it to us. Oh yeah. Happy birthday, Malin. Oh, hi Malin. There they are. <laughs> Happy birthday. Um, yeah, I was just talking about, I was walking around and I was looking through that little bird watcher thing and I was walking around for a long time and my face, I didn't, I forgot oh, yeah. to put on sunblock and I was looking up and I think I sunburnt my face. I haven't been bit. putting on sunblock either, but I've been doing some work inside. So as far as the house goes, so yeah, I moved I moved to the bales, the extra bales that are left over, which we have a little more bale work to do under the windows, for sure under the windows, and we're going to try and use bales in a few other places, but the spaces are a little irregular, so we'll see how that goes. I just but, realized something. What's that? We're, we're kind of crooked. The thing, shouldn't it be, if you turned it that way, would we oh, be centered we're not more? centered. How's that? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Still a lot. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um uh so yeah. Sorry. Moved the bales. Uh the extra bales from the they were under the carport still. And they were not covered well, I mean they were under the carport, but they weren't covered with a tarp. Ever since I started working on the bales, I removed the tarps and I haven't retarped, you know, what was in there. Now I used most of them on the walls, but um the rest were still sitting under the carport, untarped, and they were near the edge of the carport. So, you know, we didn't have rain for a long time, but uh, in the recent rains, you know, if it's windy, the rain can get under there a little bit. So I wasn't real crazy about leaving them there. Plus, I wanted the 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 uh, carport back for our vehicles. Yeah, so, because they've been very icy. So we did, I did move the tar, uh, move the bales out into the house, into the middle of the house, which... Now they've got a roof over them, so there really isn't, they can't get hit by rain now. Um, I, I remembered some. Yeah. So we went, we went somewhere, was that, when we came back, it had uh, rained a lot, and, yeah. oh, that's when we went and stayed a couple of days in Tucson at Craig and just, Nikki's. Just one. But when we came back, the rain had, or the wind had blown yeah. all the tires oh, off. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. It, yeah. And, and it was a, a big mess. Yay, I can see you guys now. Had to reset my internet. <laughs> oh, all right. Do we freeze? Um, uh, <laughs> so, what? yeah, we did get some rain. That would have been... It blew the tires New away. Year's, New Year's Eve, I think. Yeah, New Year's Eve, I think. Uh, actually... The 30th, probably the 30th and the 31st, I think we had rain both of those days. One of them we were here for, and the next day we left, and it rained a little bit more. Um, uh -huh. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we had uh, a little bit, we had some and rain it got in windy. our buckets, and it was like completely It frozen. got windy, so yeah, so our tarps are kind of hanging on the sides of the walls. You know, they're tied up at the top. And at the bottom, they're kind of held down by tires. They, you know, the tarp lays on the ground, so I put tires on them and some pallets up against them to kind of keep them up against the walls and the wind had blown those all off. So, so what I've learned is, I don't know if I've said this on here yet, but um, the tarps are good for some applications, but right now, because, um, because we're covering uh, the, the holes for the windows and the doors as well, um, there's a lot of wind blowing through there. So the tarps are getting blown around a lot. So, I'm actually, I've got a different solution in mind. And also hopefully it can, that's the other thing is, you know, I don't want to leave those tarps hanging there for quite a long time, potentially, right? Before we're ready to plaster. And it's hard to get in and out because they're blocking everything. You know, they're all the way around. Um, so they're blocking the doors and the windows and you have to kind of peel stuff back to get inside and to work. So um, what I'm planning on doing, I did get a roll of, it just got delivered yesterday. 
a roll of clear plastic. Um, and I'm only going to cover just the bale sections, right? So from basically from a buck to a buck, um, I'm going to cover just the bale sections so that the wind won't hit. So, and also it'll allow us to go in and out and stuff like that. So I'm only going to cover where the bales are. That's one of the next things I'm going to do. I think that's what I might work on tomorrow. Yeah. And those tarps are getting the. Yes. The, they're getting beat up. Beat she says the them. friction from the wind will wear them out. Definitely. Yes. Now don't get me wrong. These, the billboard tarps are excellent tarps. They're, they're thick, really thick. They're heavy. They're big. So they're excellent, but they are getting beat up for us. It's mostly now they're getting beat up a little bit because I have the tires on the bottom and they get blown around. So that's kind of wearing them down a little bit. Um, the wind the itself sun. actually isn't doing too bad. And the, it's where they're connected basically. So the tires on the bottom, they're getting torn up a little bit. And at the top where they're tied, I basically have them tied to like the trusses. Um, so that's because the wind whips them around a bunch. That's kind of making it, it's, it's, breaking down the sections that I have them tied up. So they're excellent tarps, but it's not the best solution for our situation right now. So hopefully the plastic is going to do a better job. And yeah, they did. It wasn't a waste or anything and I will use them for other things. So um, they are good, but uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go with a different hope, uh, hopefully a better solution. Where did you manage to find the billboards? Thought about getting some to cover some of our stuff in the future. There was uh, I think it, this one is actually specific to Arizona, but, uh, it was, we had we volunteered. To, yeah. We went to a workshop. We had volunteered a at, a, at a straw bale build in Tucson, mm -hmm. I believe. And, you know, we had heard about the billboard tarps before, but I hadn't really tried to track them down or anything. Yeah. Well, this guy had a couple and I asked him and he just gave me a website and I, it was specific to Arizona. So I, it won't apply to everybody, but, uh, it was just some guy who, I don't know what his connection is with these, with these companies, I suppose, but. I don't even but after they bring the billboards, those. well, you weren't there. What, you were did you, you go? were gone somewhere, and I went. You went to. He was actually Tucson? in Phoenix. And oh. I, uh, no, maybe he was in Tucson, but uh, I was going to Tucson or Phoenix, wherever did, he was. He and I made a little side trip. He just met me in a parking lot. But he was in a truck. Oh. And he had a handful of them in a, in the back of his truck, and uh, I bought three, I think. So they're nice and big. They're hey, thick. Hey Jim. Hey Jim and Jessica. <laughs> Welcome. Um, but yeah, welcome to, uh, there's like five or six of the people yeah. trickling in and out. I guess if, if, if you were looking for some in your area, my suggestion would probably be just to Google, you know, billboard tarps and, you know, your state or your city or whatever. I, I think, I think the website for us was like AZ billboard tarps or something like that. It was pretty generic. Um, but I assume it's a pretty common thing, but they are definitely Hello, Red and very, April. Uh, they were they and came in a name I don't handy. recognize. <laughs> the wind was something. It blew some of the foam sheets off the pile. We had them down with buckets of rocks. Yeah, the wind got pretty hard. I think it was hardest the day we actually weren't here. Oh, um, I'm so but, glad we yeah. weren't here. I was. Yeah. I went. We went to a friend's house and we got to take a very nice hot shower <laughs> in a very warm house. It was so so awesome. But, Thanks to Craig and Nikki. But as uh, as far as the house, you know, we have done. So we just took that one. Oh, hey, day Jared. Off. Hey, Jared. Yes, I finally got. I finally got cut. Um. So what? Uh, what have we done in the house? So we moved the build. We moved the uh, the bales. Uh, so that kind of cleared out the the carport, and we're getting prepared to put more bales in the house uh, you for starters film, under the windows. You didn't film any of that, did you? <laughs> No, well, I just moved them. I think I, I mean, got a little. It wasn't bit anything real technical, but um, <laughs> we're doing all right, Jim. It's been cold, but we're doing okay. It's the, in the morning for a couple hours that it's really fact, uncomfortable. The fact that the, the we've had sunny days at least recently here, um, as you know, with solar, as long as there's a sunny day coming, I don't mind using our energy. So we've been turning the heat on in the morning with just solar, and uh, and then we know we'll get that energy back during the day. So. <laughs> <laughs> if there was some if it once those doors and windows come i might jared jared and i jared's jared's complaining and jared and i haven't talked much because uh well first of all uh, he was hey, gone you've been gone to <laughs> las vegas for a month so but, uh, i've been busy working <laughs> so um so what have i been doing um I since don't know. since we so the last video was the finish of the trusses now, I think I mentioned even on our last live, even though it was two weeks ago, we had done the sheathing, or at least some of it. 
Um, you put that paper on top. But, but I said already that I put the paper on. Um, uh, I'll, 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 I'll get to it. Oh, okay. But um, what else? I want to talk about what else I've been doing. So I did some more, some more rat run work. I hadn't quite finished the rat runs, even though I showed the rat runs in a video. There was some more to finish up there. Um, we went to um, order the metal roof. We've ordered the metal roof. I mentioned that already. Oh. Um, uh, today, I just put in um, the two end trusses that are special in their overall wall. The engineering drawings had uh, uh, supports halfway up those trusses. So I added a support halfway up those trusses today. Um, so we just did been doing some little things to get ready for the metal. Um, and while we're waiting for the metal, basically. Um, I was going to make, oh, I didn't make the phone call today. Hi, I'm going to call the Terry. window folks. Um, so, so Michelle. yeah. So Heather asked, do you guys have a propane furnace to stay warm? We have a heater. Not buddy. exactly. Yeah. We do have a heater, <laughs> buddy. A heater buddy. It's just a little portable, you know, that you, that you screw one of those little uh, propane bottles into. <laughs> we do use that from time to time. If, if it's cloudy or we know it's going to be cloudy and we're not going to get much energy or rainy, you know, we can always run the generator to run our, uh, <laughs> I see you have your wrench, Jim. Brian fired me. <laughs> it's you, Mom. You did something. You, you changed something. You threw away your wrench. <laughs> Mom lost her wrench. Um, she was demoted. <laughs> but uh, we do use the heater buddy from time. So one of the things that happens when it's very cold outside, when it gets, let's say, below 30, the, uh, the uh, mini Jim. split oh. actually doesn't do that great of a job. It'll run, but uh, it doesn't actually put out very warm uh air because it does not have like an electric heating element in it it's not it was a cheap unit um so when it goes below technically i think below 40 they say that it starts to decrease in efficiency below 40 but what we've noticed is below 30 you know it runs but it doesn't put out much warm air so if we're really really cold or if it's raining and we can't oh, run the generator cool. in the rain or uh we know we're not going to get much sun um we will use the heater buddy. And actually the heater buddy actually heats the space actually a good bit quicker than the mini split does. But the heater buddy, you know, those little propane tanks run out pretty quickly. So we do a combination kind of just depending on the circumstances. And usually it's it's only bad first thing in the morning. And then yeah. by the time we yeah. get ready. We get down to 13. 13. I think the lowest we've seen is about 20. 20. Yeah. We've seen about 20 first Dang. thing in the morning. Uh, where are Red in April? Uh, out by Sierra Vista, I think. Oh, they're a little higher than us, Maybe, so I'm not like surprised. Herford? They're, they're a That's little higher. Right, out by uh, okay. Don. Do you guys know Don? Okay. De uh, affordable. That Justin. makes sense that they would be a little lower. I wonder if they're close to Don because he's out by Sierra Vista. But uh, let's see. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. So we, we let it get <gasps> minus six. Wow. Oh my gosh. We I let it get, get we let it get pretty cold overnight because we are in bed and we have an electric, an electric blanket, which doesn't take. So anyone who's out there is living in an RV and is very energy conscious. An electric blanket actually does not use much energy. It does use some, but it doesn't use a lot. Nowhere near what any kind of, you know, actual heater electric heater uses even though i i thought just like anything else like a toaster or whatever anything that creates heat usually uses a bunch of energy the electric blanket doesn't use much it does use a little and over the course yes. of a night you know but it, it doesn't wear, do too bad i wear my uh pants and my and this to bed and then usually i wear socks at first but then once my feet start sweating i have to take them off but i turn it up to like seven it goes to what does it go to nine? It goes to, I think nine. It goes to it might H. have a ten. No, I think it goes to nine. It goes to H nine, and then H <laughs> is ten. But uh, it stays on. I think it stays on. What if you don't turn it off? It stays on for like ten, ten hours. hours and then shuts off. So um, it's pretty good. But there's some nights where I wake up and my your face my is a little face cold. Is freezing. <laughs> your face can be a little. And cold. then when I have to get up and go to the bathroom and I can see my breath and that's uncomfortable, but. So what I do, as long as I know the sun's going to come out that day, uh, basically what I do is, you know, I wake up, we both wake up several times a night, just naturally. So what I do is when I wake up one time fairly early in the morning, let's say between four and five o'clock, and I usually get out of bed <laughs> between five and six. <laughs> 
So I usually get out of bed between five and six. So if I wake up between four and five, what I'll do is I actually keep the remote for the mini split by the bed and I'll turn it on to its minimum setting and it'll just slowly creep the temperature up a little bit just so that we're not dying. (laughs) That's funny. (laughs) My body is very It's it's been like that. I'll say this, even when I turn that little thing on, uh, when we wake up, we can generally see our breath. (laughs) Don't ever let go. That's funny. Who gets on the board? (laughs) The question is, who gets the board? I get on. (laughs) No, I'm the woman. You're... You're Jack. You go in the water. Hmm. There was plenty of room on that. There was board, totally by room. By the way, there was room. And if you slip off, that's you know that just happens. Uh, what <laughs> he said, Pam gets on the board and she has a letter bride on. Where where's that? I don't see that. Uh, the last comment. It's called oh. reading. <laughs> <laughs> Pam anyway, the board and did I miss like, did I, I did now. I did I miss any status? Let's see what uh, what else. I, I know I accomplished a bunch of things. I had made a list of little things I wanted to do, kind of while Where's we were waiting list? for the medal and everything. Well, I put it away, but uh, <laughs> one of them was the the supports on the on the end trusses. Um, I'd finished up the rat runs, like I said, I had done the majority of them, but there was a little bit left to finish up. Uh, oh, we made a sign. Else? I no made else. a sign today. Well. Yeah, we've our our new neighbor has a bunch of people coming to do work for, her, and they they tend to come up to our house. And since we really have no visitors, definitely none that we don't know about. We always have um, to point and if somebody down comes up way. here, I I just run out and say, "Are you looking for her?" And they always say yes, and I say, "You need to go back." So and- I made a sign that had her name with an arrow pointing that way, and then we uh, drilled it onto a what do you call that thing? A post? Uh, this was like an old real estate sign that had been left behind here. So Yeah, so we just stuck uh, it Like in the a ground. metal real estate thing where they would in, hang their little deal. In neon neon paint. Our ranch. I, Mark. Mark? Yeah, yeah. Mark? Hi. So Jared said, being serious though, have you pressed the windows yet? Sort of. So I, I dug out, you know, it's been six months since I kind of originally did that research. But uh, I dug out the quote I had gotten from a window company. I went to one window company because I wanted some some special windows for the South side. Uh, and I actually just had them kind of give me a quote for all the windows, but I do want special glass kind of on the South side. Um, and I went back and I went back and dug up that quote, but I need to recall call that company back because it's entirely possible, if not likely that those prices have changed. Um, but I know what they were. Uh, Why didn't we get them back then? <laughs> because we didn't move forward. Oh. Uh, we would have had windows sitting outside for six months. What good is that? I don't know. Anyway. Um, bus. Oh, no, it is not. Bus is gone. So that's nice. Um, but I did go in, I did go into Home Depot and Lowe's recently, um, and kind of priced a few in there. I could only price what was on the shelf, you know. Some they had a couple of the windows that did I the want. the doors but, go up from uh, when the last time you looked? You know, I don't even remember. I thought you wrote it down or took uh, pictures. I took pictures of them a long time ago. I'd have, to, I would have to compare, but I did go take new pictures of, um, I probably will get. I probably will get the doors from like a Lowe's or Home Depot. I I'm likely to get the windows. I think from Window Depot, which I haven't. I, that's I think I'm just going to call them and ask. I meant to do that today and I didn't. Um, so I might do that tomorrow. Oh, um, I wanted to ask Heather something. Go ahead. Heather, are you guys building? Are you going to build something? A house? Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> so I've started. I've started pricing. I did find a few of them at Lowe's and Home Depot. Um, I found the two doors that we want, a front door and a, and a French door for the back. Um, I do have their prices now. I don't remember what they were six months ago. Like I said, I probably have pictures so I could go uh, compare them, but uh, it doesn't really matter. They are what they are. But uh, I think I'm going to call Window Depot again, and I'm going to check back with that company that gave me a quote and probably get a new quote. So, But uh, I should order the windows and doors any day. Because I have a feeling there's going to be maybe a several week lead time. So I'm not in a super hurry to have them, but I should probably get that going. Um, oh, I know what I've, I've been reading the book my mom got me for for uh, Christmas on Earth and Floors. Because we're, the, we're going to do some of that work, some of the prep work for the floor probably before we put the French doors on. Because the French doors are our big opening. 
and that's what we'll use to kind of get in and out. So there's probably going to be a good bit of stuff going in and out for the floor. So I'd like to do that before we put that big door in. But the bales are in there now. Aren't those going to get in the way? That is one of the next things we're going to do, though. Um, we're going to use those bales. Use up some of the bales. Because we still have yeah. places under the windows and yep. stuff. And above. So Heather says, windows. no plans to build a house. We don't own the property we are on. We are renting. But we have plans to build a snow roof. A snow roof. A studio and put oh, in a garden. Is that so? Is a have, snow roof that'll go over? Based, that sounds to me RV? like like we would build a shade out here for the sun. Uh, you're just building something. Whoa! What? Oh, thanks, Jared. Thank you. <laughs> Jared gave a super chat. Thanks, Jared, oh, for the window fund. You're so sweet. Um, maybe an add-on for a wood stove and a wood shed. Awesome. So she says eventually. Um, thanks again, Jared. Um, thanks. Again, Jared. So she says eventually. So okay, follow up question, Heather. Might you might you buy the property you're on in the future? Could it become your property? Or do you want it to become your property? Um anyway. I seem to recall it might have been that's uh, the window someone, story. Uh, written from a family member, if I'm correct. I don't know. I can't I remember. That was a different place. I thought maybe they had moved, but maybe they just changed, maybe they just added the RV. But I can't remember. I don't remember if they Sorry, moved. Sorry, I can't. Just, <laughs> My memory but, uh, is. But anyway, yes. So that's the window story. Um, I know what they were. I have to find out what they are. So I have to touch base with a couple of people that I, we had also, we had priced them all at Window Depot in the past. But again, the, the prices have probably changed, but it is what it is. It's just like anything else, right? The metal, I can tell you, if anybody's looking at metal, it's it almost, it's almost double what it was the last time I bought metal. So there's not a whole <laughs> lot I can do about that. I need it. So what are you going to do, right? It's still, to tell you the truth, not that bad in my opinion, but, but it is more than it was for sure. It's called inflation. Um, hey, Dino. Hi, Dino. Um, Everything is, I mean, in a couple of years, it'll probably be even more. I think that's, I think that's what we've been working on recently. Um, we did take a, a day or two off as a break over the, over the holiday there. Uh, we did have a little bit of bad weather and we kind of ran away from it for a night. So, uh, <laughs> It's in the family, so we don't know yet if we would buy. Not sure if we plan to permanently stay in the area. Um, hmm. Do you like the snow? Or are you going to run away from it? I left snow and never looked back. It seems like she um, likes it. She was having a great time in it. <laughs> but if anybody has any questions, fire them away. Um, it is what it really is time now. You know, I'd focused on the four walls and roof for so long. Um, now that we're almost done with the roof it's time to actually look at what remains and sort of reprioritize everything. So actually, yeah, that'll, <laughs> that'll buy the French door. <laughs> <laughs> that French um, door. Yes. It will be the most expensive. That thing pays for, for the sure. new light that I got because <laughs> the harsh lighting was that my eyes aren't burning. Yeah. Can everybody, as... can everybody tell how awesome this light is? Cause normally it's, a, it's one of those ring lights. Uh, Brian has like really deep dark circles <laughs> under his eyes and from the above light. Hmm. Oh, she likes the I snow. I like snow. <laughs> um, yeah, so I like it every now and then. As far as the whole house actually, speaking of the window and door pricing. Um, thanks mom. Um, the window and door pricing, uh I still think the most expensive portion of the build is the roof for sure. We've put a lot of money into the roof and mm -hmm. there's still a little more to put in with insulation. But um Windows and doors, I think, will be second behind that as the far metal, as our cost. The metal's coming from right down the road. Are you getting your metal local? Thunder yeah, it's, Mountain. it's Thunder Mountain Metal Sales. I can't remember where Mark is. If he's, I think he might be in Arizona, but maybe not. Oh, he's out by Jim, I think. Fubar Ranch. Okay. Um, I believe. <laughs> I did not. You you did it. You did it. You detached. Anyway, um, we've bought from Thunder Mountain Metal Sales before. They've actually, they had two locations in the past. We had gone to one near Sierra Vista in the past. And then they actually moved from there to Tucson. And we bought from them in Tucson. And they now actually have a branch right here in, in St. David. Mm -hmm. Or in Benson, I should say. So... <laughs> he is brutal. Um, so yes, we did buy local, and this is our third. This is our third purchase from them. <laughs> so where's Sherry? Because she's question. too busy. Maybe she's. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You. You. Uh, you discuss. 
Oh, you go. I'm gonna try. I'll, I'm I'll gonna say try what I did. Mom. Okay, so uh, he hasn't hooked up the pipe yet to make the rain go into the water catchment tanks. So all of the rain filled up the barrel. So I've been oh, yeah. transferring water from the barrel to Coach's can. Yeah. Other places like filling up. Uh, I've been watering a lot of plants, watering trees, and yeah. also. What else did I do? I made some, I've been doing a lot of videos, video editing. Oh yeah. Pam did uh, what a, I did a video a day through December. Every day in December I did, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't feel as bad when I'm being the worst friend ever when I see how he treats his own mother. I'm, I'm your only friend. <laughs> mom, I gave you, I gave your, your uh, uh, mom Mark got her. Michelle. Who's Mark? Mom got a wrench Mark back yet. Mom no, got a wrench back. It was Terry and Michelle. Uh, Mark, well, it could it, be Mark. Mark there is, is somebody Fubar that's Mark ranch. and Michelle, isn't there? That's Off Grid Patriot. It's somebody else. Off well, Off Grid Patriot. Patriot came on. Oh, hi. Look at that. Mom's way ahead of you. Good job, Mom. Pam's asleep. I, I'm, I'm going to lose my wrench. <laughs> that's a lot of work to do a video I'm a day. Fired. Yeah, sometimes it was, but sometimes she did quickies. <laughs> Peer pressure. Peer pressure. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a challenge, but yeah, it was. I've been, I mean, hopefully people are noticing. I know this is kind of a small crowd here, but hopefully uh, people who follow our channel are noticing. You know, I tried or said that I was going to try for a long time to be more consistent. I've been pretty good about getting a video yeah. a week. I know it's not super fast and it does tend to get us a little behind what we're building, but uh but I have been doing pretty good about a video a week. I was I was a couple of days late last week, and I skipped one a little while ago. But other than that, I've been pretty consistent. I think. <laughs> oh, she's got a wrench um, bag now. I told you. I gave Are her you a nervous bag. about the electrical? I am. I'm nervous about everything, of course. But you know, uh, he's taking it one step at a time, you know, one day at a time. Yeah, we'll figure it out when we get there. But, he doesn't uh, like for me to ask him questions. I'm nervous about a lot of things. Only but only uh only other people are allowed. What I do is every once in a while, and, and now is one of those times, I need to look at kind of what remains and pick, you know, five things off of that list or whatever, and then I'll kind of focus on those five things and trying to progress them and I'll push all the others off. Um maybe I don't know, maybe that's how everybody else does it normally, but Normally, I would think about everything all at once, and my head would explode, and I would do nothing. So I'm trying really hard to sort of pick a couple of things, try and get them done, and forget about the rest. So I don't know exactly when the electrical is really going to uh, do your best get me, but, and forget the rest. But we'll, we'll figure it out <laughs> when we get there. But of course, you, I'm nervous about it. I'm nervous about everything I do. So Do you know who said that? Yeah. I know. Tony Horton. <laughs> <laughs> um i'm always nervous too overthinker extraordinary yeah i am <laughs> bad really bad but i'm getting better hey i still overthink chipping away. But, he's but, chipping yeah. away when when i look out there now i was watching some old videos and like there was no carport out there there was no nothing believe me it is there. nice it to was... walk around the property or go up on the hill and look down or look at old videos and see the difference i mean even though it's only like three buildings um, the shed, the carport, and the house. I mean, this place was bare when we got here. So yeah, it's been a while. We've been here almost four years now, but still, it looks pretty good. I think so. It's will, it's nice. Will you get it uh, plastered before the monsoons? So Terry and Michelle say, right? Terry and Michelle. Mm -hmm. um, we get it plastered. Yes, yes. Yes. So um, last year, la last year coming into, uh, I guess. In 2020, coming into 2021, a year ago, my goal was to kind of pick up, uh, was to get walls up before before that window in like March, March to June, and, and try to plaster them from March to June. Now, surprise, surprise, that was way too ambitious. Um, but now that the walls are up and, and the roof is on it and all that stuff, um, I, I will kind of have that same goal, which is I will be shooting for that March to, to June kind of window, which tends to be a very dry window around here. Um, that's when we'll be shooting for, I think, for our plaster. So, so yes, the goal would be definitely to have it done before monsoons, at least the outside. But, I mean, hopefully everything. Um, follow Jim's Following Jim's questions, will your current electrical support the straw bale home or will you need to add on to your solar system? Good question. The plan is that we should be good. 
Um, now we, uh, and I might repeat some things that, that some people know if they've watched all our videos, but, um, uh, we currently kind of exist on six panels. We get by on six solar panels and we yeah. use those six solar panels to feed four Tesla batteries. Um, it actually takes those six solar panels a little while to fill those four solar batteries if we run them down a ways. It's not great. Um, but uh, we have nine other panels already waiting. They're already mounted, as a matter of fact, on a solar mount kind of a little ways away from the trailer here. They are not hooked up to anything, but they're mounted. And the idea is to add the current, the six that we have currently to those nine for a total of 15 so that we can charge those batteries up a lot faster during the day. Do you know but the batteries should be uh, somewhat. Oh. I mean, yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, with those extra panels, the idea is that we shouldn't need any more. And actually, when it comes to energy usage, I mean, even though we'll be moving from a trailer to a house, it sounds like, right, that, oh, we'll use a lot more energy. Well, when it comes to heating and cooling, less. we should we'll use be way less, less because the house will be so much more efficient. Uh, when it comes to the refrigerator, the the refrigerator that we put in the house, the refrigerator in here is so bad, either that I just don't know whether the refrigerator is a piece of junk or it's just the insulation both. around the refrigerator <laughs> or both. Um, this refrigerator doesn't really cycle on and off much. It just runs pretty much nonstop. So to try and use this, to run this refrigerator on electricity overnight, it just, it just saps the battery all night long. It never really shuts off. Even when it's cool, it doesn't really shut off. So, so anyway, moving to the house will actually improve our energy situation in several cases. Now there will be some additions in the house. We'll be, we're hoping to cook electrically, which is a somewhat expensive operation, which we don't do in here. But so there'll be some, some, in some places we'll use more energy and some places we'll actually use less. So the goal is not to actually have to add anything. That was a very long answer to say, we shouldn't have to add we anything. We have a regular um, fridge now. Oh, good, good to hear, Jim. Good to hear. Day. Yeah. You would think yeah. that this tiny little RV refrigerator would do so great, you know, would be terrible. way better. And those big refrigerators would be super, uh, you know, inefficient or, or energy suckers. Sarge but uh, but they behave a lot better actually. Hello, welcome, Sarge. Um, so it's good to hear, Jim, that that uh, you know that was my understanding that the the fridge that we ultimately get will be one you know it'll do what a refrigerator should do, which is it'll run for a little bit and then it'll kind of cycle off for a while and then come back on and cycle off and it shouldn't use a ton of energy. This one just never stops. Um, so our RV it refrigerator broke, so we were running a regular powder. mini power. refrigerator. It uses very low power. Yeah, it's good to hear. Good to hear. We will yeah, probably not. We'll get a regular. Uh, we don't need a giant. Technologically, one. it will be a regular refrigerator, but it uh, it probably will be small because we just don't need a big one. So it won't use... be a big honking double door thing. You know, it'll just be a. What's, what's up, the... guys? Is that roof all done? Almost. We're almost. waiting for the metal to cover it. So the metal will be the last thing for the roof. So we're close. Um, but anyway, yeah, so the refrigerator situation should improve. I think the heating and cooling situation will improve just because, I mean, yes, we will probably still have to add heat or cool at some points, but I think the difference will be when we add that hot or cold to the space, it should hold it way better than Much our RV does. The RV energy. just doesn't hold it. So you just have to run that heat or cold nonstop. And we shouldn't have to do that in the house, hopefully. So. Yes, our roof will be metal, just like our uh, carport. Our carport and our shed. We've done two metal roofs already, so we're going to do another one. Um. So yeah. So anyway, yeah, we're hoping not. We we believe that we have our ultimate solar system by adding extra panels, which we already have and was the plan all along, and we believe that the batteries we have will be will be good enough. Wouldn't fiberglass be cheaper? And I don't think it would transfer all that heat. I'm not sure. I don't know anything about a fiberglass roof, to tell you the truth. Um, straw bales are very good insulation. Yes. Uh, you know, it's funny you mentioned the color, uh, Terry and Michelle. Uh, I probably would have gotten the same color, but... I wanted So there's red. two things. Number one, Pam said she wanted a different color. And number two, the company doesn't actually offer what we have anymore. They, it, they said it's not available right now. So we have two green roofs. And they don't have green, so we're getting a red. It's called rustic red. It's kind of like a barn red, I suppose. 
I like um, it. Which is fine. Pam likes it better. I don't particularly care. So it is going to be a different color. Tom's here. Um, have you thought about the color of the metal? You know, this is an interesting question. Have you thought about the color of the metal and the heat absorption with darker roof versus a lighter one? So I don't know whether they're just telling me a story, but the first time I bought metal from this company, um, which is uh, Thunder Mountain Metal Sales here locally, um, this would have been for the shed. I had that same thought, right? Darker colors generally mean hotter temperatures, right? So I thought maybe we'd have to get white or something like that, right? Um, they claimed at the time, and they've claimed it since then, um, that I think it, they said it has to do with the paint they use. They said that the colors really do not impact the heat. I don't know if they're making that up, but that's what they told me. So you really don't even notice it all that much anyway, right. because unless you're up on the mountain, that's the only time I really yeah, see it. Yeah. Actually, you know, you will see this roof a little more than you see our other roofs. You know, when we drive to our property, when you drive up our driveway, um, you're coming from the north and our other two roofs actually slope down towards the, the south. Direction. So you actually don't really see them at all. This one actually does slope to the north, slopes down to the north. So you will see that red, but red's cool. I'm fine with that. Color is city of Phoenix is changing all roofs. So white, they're saving 11% on cooling. So yeah, believe me, huh. I thought the same thing. And I told those when I, you know, when I bought my first roof from them, I said, shouldn't I buy white? Won't it be cooler? And they said, it doesn't matter. Now, again, I, I don't know whether to believe them, but that's what they said. Oh, <laughs> Bill says that's not true. Uh, when Yvonne and I brought, uh, bought our roof, we touched white roof and a darker roof color at the same time, and there was a significant temperature difference. I, I didn't know whether to believe them, but yeah. Hello, so. Bill and Yvonne. Um, and uh, yes, Brian is doing a great job. He's been working his booty off. I have. Tom said you're doing oh, a great doing job. Oh, doing a great job. Thanks, Tom. Um, yeah, so anyway. Yeah, we might be a little warmer because Maybe of that. Maybe at the be because there's coating on top of paint, but it fades. <laughs> no problem, Bill. Um, did you guys have any damage from the recent storms? Not damage. Um, like I said, I, I don't think we actually got a ton of rain. Um, it rained, I think, fairly steadily for a little while, but it didn't. I don't think it came down real hard. We did leave on New Year's Eve. Hello, Wayne. But, uh, Wayne's when but I think we saw the majority of the rain maybe the day before that. I'm not sure. But um, so we got a little bit of rain, not a ton, but uh, it was windy. And as we said, the tarps got blown around a good bit uh, from the wind, but not not damaged. But uh, we did, you know, like the tires that we were using to hold the tarps down got blown around a good bit. And so but nothing, nothing major. Um, it's why people buy white cars. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I don't think did Wayne miss it, anything? Did I miss everything? <laughs> I don't really Not think everything. So. I mean uh, what do you want to know, Wayne? <laughs> he, he's got um, the roof mostly done. That was Don uh, doing out there. Are you taking care of it? Um I think Don took a little break over the holidays. I think he visited some people, so but I, I think he's back now and ready to get at work and get back to work. Uh you should probably be seeing a, a video from him recent, soon. I think he's working on his solar mount. Um didn't you just talk to him on the phone? I just talked to him today. I think was I talked today? to him today. Yeah, it was today. Um, we have an 18 cubic foot frigid air. It has plenty of room and is very efficient for our solar system. Good That's to hear. Great. Good to hear. Yeah, I have I been. Wait. I have been running under the assumption that our uh, our energy situation in terms of a refrigerator is going to improve when we move to the house. I will say the only advantage of the RV refrigerator is that when it does draw more energy than you would like it to, uh, electricity, you can switch it to gas, uh, propane. So that is nice. Um, although, you know, I'd rather it would just more efficient, but, um, obviously in the house, it'll be electric and it'll have to use the electricity when it needs the electricity. But, but, uh, so it is nice to be able to switch it over to propane, which we do from time to time, but I wish it was just more efficient, but it's not. So, but it sounds like everybody is confirming what I believed, which was from an electricity standpoint, our situation will improve with the refrigerator, with the refrigerator in the house. Mm -hmm. And uh, as, as weird as it sounds to say, even though the space is two to three times as large, um, I actually think our heating and cooling is going to improve energy wise. Oh, I yes. think we're going to use less energy to heat and cool, even though the space is way bigger. Um, so I, mean, I could be wrong, sun. but I, I don't think I am. Um, 
we don't get enough sun in the winter for solar. So the RV fridge is nice for power outages. Uh-huh, sure, sure. It's nice to be able to run it on propane. That is convenient. I will say that. Thank you, Sarge. Don't forget to like. <laughs> Thanks, Sarge. Yeah. Are you going to that crop like. the straw bales? Yes. We're going to crop the straw bales. Yeah, we're going to earthen plaster. Yes, the straw bales. Oh, hot water heater, maybe? Thoughts on hot water. You know, I haven't put a lot of thought into hot water, like where it will happen. Um, I, I will say the little bit of thought, I, I mean, I'll have to do some research, of course, but I would like to heat our, the one thing I know that I would like to do, and this is easy to say, I need to figure out how to do it, but, uh, I would like to incorporate the sun in the heating of our water. For me, much like solar, I've always said that I think you're, it's a little silly not to use solar out here in Arizona. I mean, there's just so much of it, right? So I think it's silly not to make use of that. I also think it's silly not to make use of the sun when it comes to heating your water. So I don't know all of the ins and outs of how to make that happen, but, uh, but I believe that we can definitely use the power of the sun to heat our water, at least, uh, at least assist. Um, and I think even our neighbor across the way has a, a solar water heater. And Does he? so I, I'm pretty um, sure we can make that happen, but I need to do a little research on it. On demand. Doing an on-demand hot water heater. I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. I think he's saving all of that until after. Yeah. Yeah. After I will say houses. also, um, they're not on here, I don't think. Um, but friends of ours from Chandler, where we used to live, are coming to visit, I think this coming weekend. Steve and, and he's Donna? he's a buddy, yeah, he's a buddy that I like to bounce a lot of stuff off of. And of course, we've been talking a bunch of, of course, about walls and roof. You know, like I said, I've been I've been focusing on the four walls and a roof for a while now. Um, it's time to kind of shift gears and look at some other things. So he and I will be talking a lot about what's coming up and I'll be trying to prioritize a few things. And like I said, I'll try and try and uh, take maybe five things off of a big list and, and focus on them for a little bit. I don't know what's going to be on that list, but but I'll try and prioritize the next batch of work, let's say. So. I'll be asking him some of these same questions. Heather says, my um, FI, what's FIL? What's an FIL? Would use black pipes, FIL. That would gravity feed a solar shower in the summertime. Huh. Oh, hi, we Alan. Bought a, we bought a 20 gallon water heater and plan to just turn it on in the morning. On demand, use a ton of power when they come on. Oh. Hmm. How much longer do we have to wait for you guys to install windows? I keep uh, asking that myself. <laughs> um, I was, I meant to call today and I didn't. Uh, I'm going to make that call tomorrow. I have a feeling we've probably got oh, father at least a few weeks, if not several weeks, probably to wait before we even have the windows. So Her we'll see. Her father-in-law would use black pipes. Oh, FIL, father-in-law. Okay. Solar um, better late oh. than never. Oh, That's hey, Alan. <laughs> Um, I know the heat pump style water heaters are very efficient. Uh, yeah, I definitely, I have some research to do for sure about when it comes to hot water. Um, copper coil hot box on the roof to circulate hot into tanks. Definitely. Um, like I said, I don't know the details, but I would love to just get the pan. water to be heated by the sun. <laughs> and then, uh, Pam, you're uh, one energetic <laughs> spring chicken. Why is it taking you guys so long? Um, uh, he's the energetic is one. Is <laughs> the roof on? I missed some of everyone's the videos. Um, the roof it's on. structure is there. The sheeting and the um, paper, but not the metal. Yes, everything but the metal. We're, uh, we've ordered the metal. We ordered the metal a week ago today. Uh, I expect it to be here soon. Like I said, if they don't call me tomorrow about a delivery, I think I'm going to call them. Um, cause they said it would only be about a week. So, uh, it should be here soon. And then I just need a kind of a decent weather window. You know, I don't want to be putting that up when it's windy at all. So, uh, but there is there is an underlayment on there protecting the the plywood, so we're good for a little while. But uh, yeah, the the metal should be on the way. Uh, check tech ingredients YouTube channel. Oh, I suppose I suppose he's talking about. He said copper coil hot box on the roof. Um, Grace, hello. Ask tech. Hey Grace. What does that mean? I don't know. Virginia Tech. Ask tech. Check tech ingredients YouTube channel. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. So hot water is one I definitely need to look into. I definitely, I, you know, I did a lot of research. If you guys remember, and I apologize for this, but it happened um, uh, a while back. I guess Ouch. it's been, I think it's been over a year now. I, when I built the, uh, the, uh, the solar panel mount, mm -hmm. 
I was going to hook those solar panels up to the existing system. And I did a lot of research on the solar system as a whole, just getting familiar with all the wiring and everything. And I felt pretty comfortable with it. And I was ready to do some things and I changed my mind. Um, it got kind of late. I ended up not doing it. So I have to refresh myself on a lot of that stuff, but I, I think I can handle the solar stuff as I'll have to refresh a lot of what I learned, but I learned a lot about it before and I think it'll come back. And you um, will be putting it on in the morning. So hopefully it won't be very windy. Yeah. Even when we do have windy conditions, they, they tend to be more in the afternoon. Ouch, so I'll, I'll focus in the morning. Of course, husband sliced his side with sheathing one time, Oof. sheathing one time. Yeah, oh yeah. 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 It only takes a tiny bit to grab a hold of those things. Uh, Jared says, when you're putting the metal on, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know exactly when it's going to come yet. Hopefully soon. Um, zap, 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 electricity. Um, I think I'll be all right. And I, I, when it comes to the electricity, I probably will get somebody over here too that knows more than me. Hopefully just to kind of oversee and make sure I don't do anything crazy. I think I'll understand most of it, but I'd feel better if somebody were watching me. Maybe or, my, so. my brother. Maybe we Pam's get brother's my... actually an electrician. Maybe we'll try and get him to visit. Um, I've been trying to get him to visit for a long, long time. Anyway. We might, we might be able to make that happen. So yeah, I'll, I, I won't do anything too crazy without having somebody kind of check me first, but, um, Don is upgrade. Don is definitely working on a solar. Yep. He's been talking to me about, uh, Mount he's building a Mount, I believe right now. So, um, so I think that's, that's everything that's going on. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> our old friend is back. The water pipe just today. Oh. So, oh, that's something I should mention just in general. Anybody who is, you know, this might be, this might not be surprising to you, or you might already know this, but you know, you've heard us talk a lot about our water situation and the water traveling a little ways from our well connection. Um, and the problems we've had with that. Um, and last winter we definitely freezed a lot, froze a froze. lot, our, our water <laughs> froze a lot. Um, uh, so we so we made the kind of the transition the the middle ground of kind of moving to our to our tanks. Um, we're filling our uh, yes. yes, we're filling our uh, onboard water tank right. And one thing we've noticed this year is our water isn't freezing. So and we've had some like we've been down to twenty, and our water works first thing in the morning. So that's been a huge that's improvement. That's been really nice. Um, and other than having it fill it up every three four days or whatever, you know that's a minor inconvenience between those fill-ups, it behaves really well. So we've been very pleased with that. But we refilled it today, which is a normal thing for us to do. And when I drove back down to turn it off, so I, I go down and turn it on, I come back, we fill the tank, I go back, I turn it off at the at the source, right? So when I went back today, I noticed a spray coming out. So the, it it isn't like broken, broken. It basically, and I assume it's from the freezing and, and thawing, um, at one of the connection points, which is exposed, um, it, it, it has kind of popped apart. It wasn't even completely apart. It was really just kind of, it was like a spray, right? It wasn't just a, a fire hose. Um, it was just a squirt. So I think it had, it has mostly pulled apart. I'm hoping I'll go down there tomorrow to take a look at it, but I'm hoping it's as simple as just kind of pushing those two back together, retightening that clamp. And I may just bury it with a little bit of dirt. Um, but, uh, hopefully it's not a major problem, but yeah, it's leaking again, but, uh, it was good enough. It did well enough for us to fill our tank on it, but I didn't even notice that it was leaking until I went back. But, uh, yeah, so it's, it's still happening. Not too big of a surprise, but really on the whole, that's been performing much, much better for yeah. us than, than what we had been doing. So it's great. I'm really happy with that. Mm -hmm. So if anybody out there is wondering kind of how to handle water mm -hmm. and an RV and all that stuff, we definitely have had great luck, uh, and, and good performance. And we can go with for like filling the, three days, filling the out. onboard tank. Yeah. We kind of know when it's going empty. Epoxy, epoxy on the water fitting Ooh, really that's a hmm. good idea are both your water tanks filled with water they're about half full um they've but really they're not only connected to yeah they've yet. really only um oh they've really only we've really only put water in them from our well connection uh because uh i didn't get kind of the gutter and the piping from the gutter to the tanks in place before this year's monsoon which there was a lot of water this monsoon, so I did miss a lot. Mm. Um, but uh, I did hook it up kind of after the monsoon, but then I took it back down. I actually dry fitted it 
and then I had to take it back down to glue it. And I, you know, I've gotten uh, all caught up in the house. So I still haven't put that back up yet. So we're not actually connected to our gutter system right now. Um, so no, they're not full, but we can fill them anytime from the well connection if we want. That's kind of why it hasn't been real high on my list because we still have the well connection. Uh, build a water tower. My friend Craig always tells me that I should use solar power during the day to push water up the hill and then and to fill a tank and then use it later on by gravity. So, mm. but I think, you know, we're just, I think our, our tanks are going to be just fine for us. So where do you guys run your gray water right now? Uh, it goes, everything out of our RV goes, you know, we empty our waste tanks into our septic system that was here when we bought the property. So um, we haven't decided exactly yet how we're going to handle gray water in the house. Uh, I did make a connection from the house to the septic. Um, it kind of just, it, it basically just goes into the area of the bathroom right now in the house. So I'm set up to kind of run waste out to the septic system, but I haven't decided exactly whether I'm going to run all of our wastewater into that pipe or not yet. Um, but for right now, we do, uh, we dump our, our black and gray tanks from the RV into our septic system. So. You can wrap up. But yeah, I think, yeah, that's, that's, we're getting close it's to seven o'clock. Still going to do the outdoor bathroom regardless. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, we didn't, we didn't want to build the house real big. And we didn't want to make it have more room than was necessary for us. And like I said, we do get some visitors out. We have friends come. We have family come a little bit. We have friends. Our family's still kind of around the country. So we don't get a lot of family visitors, but we do get friends. Um, but it's still not that often. It's not often enough. Our visitors aren't often enough to require, you know, a second bedroom in the house, a second bathroom in the house. At least we didn't think so. So what we're going to do, we kept the house very small, very simple. And what we're going to do is when we're done with the house, we are, we're going to build a casita, basically a bedroom and, and an outdoor bathroom. And both of those should be small enough that they shouldn't even require permits. So we can do them whenever we want uh, and hopefully use what we learned on the house. So, <laughs> so yes, we are planning on doing a, an outdoor, uh, you know, a separate bedroom, a casita and an outdoor bathroom slash shower. Hi, RG. Um, so. Solar up the hill and gravity of the house is my future plan. My, my buddy Craig tells me that all the time. He wants me to do that. Um, we was pumping water from 270. I've got oh, tank, Taylor, but three Taylor days ago and it Melissa. Froze. Hey, Taylor and Melissa. Have you guys been there the whole time? I just or you the just show up? We're about to sign off here. <laughs> Good evening, guys. Sorry for being late to chat. I hope you're doing well. No problem, Margie. Yeah, we are about done. Uh, I think that should cover it. Uh, thanks, everybody, for coming. Um, hopefully we answered all your questions. Hopefully we're, uh, keeping you entertained in the videos and in these lives. Um, feel free to the best way. If you have any questions, obviously you can come to these and ask us any question you want. <laughs> yes, I do. I, but I'm going to sleep <laughs> and ask us soon. any question you want, but, uh, you know, you can always comment on any of our videos. We respond to every comment on our videos. So feel free to ask us anything you want in there. Uh, like I said, I am. I am trying to, to get better at, so uh, it might be hard for me to answer some questions because I am trying really hard to push some things down the road. I mean, that sounds kind of bad, but Thank if you, you knew me, Tom. you'd know that it's a good thing that I'm doing that because and I tend to get overwhelmed with all the details. I'm so. really trying, but it's, it's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't believe me, try it for yourself and see it's, it's what not, not a, what's not as easy as it looks? To do things and tape everything and oh, then edit it, it and is. make a yeah. video and yeah. put it out there. You and... did it. You did a, a video of day in December and you, what other month you had done that before. Hadn't you? I did when it once it? before. I forget I, what month it was, but it's a lot of videos. It might've been. That's a lot of work. It's hard for me to put out a video a week. It's tough. Um, anyway, I uh, can't wait for you guys to finish that bill. So you can start an earth bag bill. <laughs> <laughs> um, have a great evening. Thanks, Bill and Yvonne. Thank you, everyone. Uh, thanks, Mom. Everybody, everybody have a happy new year. Hope everybody had a nice holiday. But other than that, we'll talk to you next week. And uh, stay tuned. It's hard. Thank Sometimes you. it's easier to do the job and not film it. Oh, believe me. Yes. Yeah. It definitely is. And there are those. You He's know, been people doing like, that. <laughs> people like Jim and other Jim and Jessica, they, they know what we're talking about. And Heather, you know what we're talking yes. about. Yes. Yep. Um, you guys. Thanks, Mark. Uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, we'll talk to you again in a week and, uh,
stay tuned. There's a lot still going on. It's it's Have moving quick one. now. We're excited. We hope you are too. It's very exciting. We'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye, everybody.